オイレがどうしたあなたも行ってみなさいきっと驚きますわよにゃーほほほほほほほほけしからん実にけしからんあんないいものがあるとなぜもっと早く言わんカインよあれをすぐに王城につけるのじゃ明日だぞぜひ OK So I know that the anime is not good, okay? Like I'm putting those little quotation marks. I know it's not like traditionally good, but tell me why. Episode number five of The Aristocrats Otherworldly Adventure, I was having a great time. I was laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing. Like even the end of the episode after the credits, they were like, um, Kane's being scolded by the king, and he's like, You use me, my future son, use me. You know, and he, he was like, I didn't use you. And the, the king's like, You're laughing as well. He's like, Who do you think you are? He's like, I'm so sorry. Like, even that, I know it's just like, it's, it's silly. It's like a silly type of humor. But even with that, it just made me laugh. Like, it made me legitly laugh, right? And I think that's what this anime does that's so special. It's like, It, if it can fit in a box, it is pretty by the numbers. It is an OP overpowered character. It is an Isaka. It's all these things, right? He got served up on a platter these two girls, literally the most important girls in the land. Next episode, he's going to be called a Playboy. So he, he, he's going to meet some other girl next, next episode as well, too. So it has those harem tropes and all those things as well. So I get it. I know why people don't like it. But I can't help it. I am having a great time watching it. And I'm telling you, like, I'm laughing over and over and over again. And to me, that's what makes my enjoyment level of this anime go up. This will be, for me personally, I can tell you the writings on the wall. This is going to be one of those anime for me that is like. Wiseman's grandchild, or it's like a son, or it's like Knights and Magic. It's like I know in my heart of hearts that what I'm watching is not a good, like, it's not like critically, or you know, it's not doing anything special and it's not critically good, but I just love watching it. And like, I think this one too is getting dubbed. I think, I think it's uh, it's、e、either in the works of being dubbed or it's going to be dubbed. Uh, let me double check here. It, yeah, it has two episodes dubbed already. So it's like once this anime also gets dubbed, I'm going to rewatch it again after this season ends. I'll probably watch it on this side, you know, as I play like, you know, my phone or some Nintendo Switch or something. I'll watch it on this side again. And it'll end up being one of those animes that I, I kind of periodically watch over and over again. And there's a few anime that I have in those boxes for me that again aren't. Good by any means, but I love them. Like, I love them, love them. I'm telling you. Wiseman's Grandchild, A Sun, Knights and Magic,、uh, Black Summoner, Spirit Chronicles,、uh, The、uh, Assassin from Another World anime. Like, these are like these, I have like these like 10 or so isekai anime,、uh, you know, these other world or these fantasy, you know, fantasy power anime. That I typically watch over and over, or I'll watch them like a couple of times, you know, every so often. Or if I'm bored, I'll just like throw them on in the background. This is gonna be one of those because I genuinely find the humor and the things that they're going for, like it hits every being of mine. So, with that being said, in episode number five,、uh, we start off with the, epi- with the episode kind of like with the reversey, with the game they created. He is. Being、uh, kind of made to play by all the high ranking nobles and stuff. Then we transition into him getting his mansion. Well, little did we know, he actually was given a abandoned mansion and a mansion that has been left abandoned for quite some time. And it needed a lot of cleaning, it needed a lot of repair. So, what did our boy Kane do? He went, I'll expiliamus. Uh, a, a cleanest, a cleanest, cleanest repair is repair them, you know. And he said, Okay, it's time for cheat code magic. So he used、uh, all clean repair and it not only cleaned the mansion, it restored it to its original state. It put everything there, it put books, it put everything like he completely restored the mansion as if it was new. So I thought that was hilarious. Then, you know, then he got his, his childhood friend Sylvia to come and be one of his maids or to be his head maid. Uh, and they had nothing to do at this point. Like, you know, they had nothing to do or anything.、Uh, then his, uh, his, his, uh, we, we, we skip to the next part and we finally get to see his older brothers. 
Initially in the OP, there is somebody with really long hair just like uh, Kane is. And we assume that that's an older version of Kane or one of his brothers. But we actually find out that his brothers Gene and Alec are, are here. And uh, they're shown just for like a little bit of the episode. They're not part of the party or anything. But we see that they both have really blue hair. So I thought that was you know a really cool thing as well too. Uh, then we're back at the mansion once again, and we find out that it's a worn-out mansion, blah, blah, blah. His parents are like, yo, this, this mansion was in shambles. What happened? And he's like, I use remodeling magic. And they're like, oh, you, Cade. And again, it's just silly, and it just got me to laugh. Then we move on to the scene of the bidet. Oh, my God, the bidet. So his you know his mom and his sister are like, Whoa! And then his dad is like, he got to install this in my house. So the magic of the bidet. Before that, too, there's also some other little things that happen, like him, you know, preparing food and and uh, preparing art and stuff. He puts a big ass dragon in, the, in his entryway of his home. I thought that was pretty funny as well. Then after that, we move on to him getting prepared for his unveiling party, of course, as being noble, as being an aristocrat. There is constantly unveiling parties all the time. So he gets that set up. He gets his, his he gets his uh you know his little girl Sylvia all all drunky on on some sparkling cider or some um what 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 are they what what is it called uh yeah like I don't know sparkling cider or something that he makes but he basically basically he makes uh alcohol and then he goes to invite all the different you know uh, noble people and everything. Uh, the king didn't get an invitation because he says that oh he's he's a baron you have to be like a marquee or higher to invite the king to events so he doesn't invite the king but instead he gets he gets summoned by the king again this scene really got me to laugh i was really enjoying this scene because the, the king was super salty that his duke got an invite but he didn't get one he's like yo i'm your future father like what do you think you're doing bro you're marrying my print you're marrying my, my daughter here you're not gonna invite the king dude so because of that uh he had brought a, an invitation because his butler was like yo bring an invitation just in case and he got him to invite the king. Uh, then the party actually happens, and everybody's impressed with the with the sizzle and the bur hamburger steaks and the bidets and the the things that he created. Uh, then we have the scene with the baron that or the marquis. I'm sorry, the marquis that got invited, the really rude one that he doesn't like. Uh, the marquis over and over trying to say that he he didn't like the cider, he didn't like the the hamburger steak, but he was like, oh, it's so delicious, blah blah. blah. Uh, and then obviously we end where, where I started my review, which is him. You know, getting the the marquee getting scolded by the king because uh, Cain decided to use the king to pressure him uh, for not being such an ass. Uh, so overall, like again, episode number five was was hilarious. It was cute. It was funny. Uh, we got to see his brothers. We got to see him, uh, you know, finally get his mansion, him repair it. We got to see uh, like a little crumb of what we're gonna see going forward. Uh, with with the different things that Kane's gonna do, but I just simply think you know all the different things that they're doing, the very silly, simple humor that they're doing is landing for me. And again, I'm having a really good time watching it, and that's what I put above all else is like, am I having a good time watching this? Like those other anime I mentioned at the beginning of the video, like A Sun, like Knights of Magic, like Wiseman's Grandchild. Like, am I having a good time watching it? And this box is clearly checked yes for me and i'm loving it episode five really good man using cheat code magic uh i can't wait till next episode when, he, when we get to see more of the playboy kane come into action who's gonna be the girl uh can't wait to see that but let me know what you guys thought about episode number five in the comments do you agree with me are you far left are you are you far left with me or i'll, I'll say left i'm gonna go left are you left with me with the really enjoying it but understanding that it's not critically good or are you on the far right and you're like yeah i'm falling off this is not hitting for me you know it's it's just not it's just not doing it for me. And I can understand if that's the case. Let me know why in the comments. If you're going to drop it, continue it. Or, you know, do like just let it stack up. You know, I mean, sometimes you don't necessarily have to drop an anime. You can just let it stack up and then watch it at the end of the season or watch it later in the future when you have more time. Uh, that's always a good thing as well, too. So let me know in the comments. Appreciate you guys being here. Have a great rest of your weekend or rest of your day whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.